Hey guys, it's Chris back here with Prestige Auto. We got the Cobalt in the garage. We're gonna be painting the front bumper today. It looks like crap. The clear coat's coming off of it. So we're gonna use a single stage paint. I'm gonna get uh, my gun together and show you guys how to use all that stuff a little bit more in detail and the products that I use. Um, we're not going for a showroom finish. We're just making it uh, look better than it does now. So. All right, this is the stuff that I use. This is just some of the basic stuff. This is a Walmart spray gun here. It does really good. I've sprayed about 10 cars with it. Um, you don't need really fancy tools just to do some stuff in your garage to make it look a little better. Um, I just use the basic stuff. Always turns out looking pretty good. So we always use the, uh, we got the lacquer thinner here to clean our equipment with and clean our hands and everything. Wax and grease remover. We use that to clean all the dust and clean everything off the car before we paint it. In the single stage paint, we've got our color here, and then we've got the activator and the reducer. We'll mix that stuff together in here and put it in our gun there. So again, like I said, this is a Walmart gun. Um, comes with the bigger one and the smaller one. I've just been using this big one here. It's got a little knob on the side for the fan, you know, bigger that way smaller that way and for the fan that's for like you know coming out that way makes it smaller bigger this button here on the back you twist it back and it allows more paint to flow from the top of the canister flow through the gun the more you got it back the more paints gonna flow through um, the tighter you got it the less paints gonna flow through alright then on the bottom here We've got like a little little gauge so that you can set the PSI of how much PSI you want to come out of the gun. I keep mine around like 25. So whenever you, you pull the trigger, and I'll show you guys this again later, you want the pressure to be when you're holding the trigger down, not while the trigger's off. So when you hold the trigger down, you want it to be coming out around 25 PSI. And so you twist this little knob on the side right there, up or down while you've got the trigger held down hold the trigger down and watch this knob and turn that one until you get it to the PSI that you want okay so this is this is the little canister you put your paint in when you get it all mixed up and it screws to the top of this here and to test everything with mine first, I'll put a little bit of water in this and then go outside and spray the water through it so that I can get my fan right, get my PSI right, because the water is about the same viscosity as the paint. So you can set everything up with that, then dump it out, then mix it in your paint and you'll be ready to go. You want some rubber gloves because this stuff is hard to get off your hands. That's some cleaning tools that comes with it. When you're done, you want to clean your gun very thoroughly. Because that stuff will set up in there and harden and it'll just mess your gun up. So just take it apart here and a couple other little things. Clean it up with, with the lacquer thinner. Alright, moving on down. You want some sandpaper. This ain't all my sandpaper. I'm just showing you guys kind of what I use. I get this from O'Reilly. That's some 1,000, 320. Here's a little sponge that you can wrap the paper around to sand with. This is a big sanding block. That works really good for hoods and bigger panels. This is 3,000 and 5,000 grit sandpaper. I use this at the end of it after I paint to um, like get the bugs and the dust off, the, off of it. And you're gonna need some plastic and some tape so that we can plastic up and tape up the headlights and the hood and everything so that overspray doesn't get all over it. But those are the basic tools that you need. You don't, like I said, you don't need a whole bunch of fancy stuff. I've just got some of the basic crap here and we're going to make it look good so i'll show you guys how to mix all this stuff up add it in we're going to set the psi um, we're going to do some sanding and some cleaning up with the wax and grease remover taping everything up okay guys let's get it going <laughs> Thank you. 
right, so we're using something a little aggressive on these spots. I'm using the 180 where the clear coat was chipping off. Where it meets up to the old paint, there's a hard ridge there. So I'm using something pretty aggressive to get that smooth. That way you can't, when we paint it, you won't be able to see the transition. So and then we'll come back later after this and we'll do something maybe like a 320 to get it all good and ready for primer. set up now. Um, first thing you want to do is um, there's some little filters that look like this. You drop that down in the top and we put on our top. It just screws on. Okay so now get your filter in, got your top on. Now we're going to go get some water and fill it up and get our gauge setting here. Okay, so we got our gun set up. We got the filter inside. We put a little bit of water in here just to test it to get our pressure up. So again, like I said, you want your pressure to be around 25 while holding the trigger. So when I pull the trigger, watch, it'll jump over to 25. You wanna set your pressure so you'll twist it up and down while holding the trigger to raise it up and down. Once you get that set right, your fan pattern coming out right, um, your volume level back here set up right, then you're ready to go. So let's mix up some paint and get it sprayed. Okay guys, we're getting ready to mix up our paint and it's gonna get a little messy. So we wanna change our hats and get into the painting hat, okay? All right, now we're back with the painting hat. Make sure you guys get one of these. It keeps your other hat good and clean. All right, guys, so we're gonna get to mixing our paint. Uh, for the single stage, I always use this Nason brand. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but I call it Nason. Um, there's three parts to it, and it's a single stage. The clear coat, the paint, the color, everything is all mixed in one. Um, you're gonna need yourself a little cup like this with the ratios on it. Now, this product right here calls for eight parts of this, two parts of the reducer, one part of the activator. Um, so we're going to come over here to the eight to one to one part and we're going to pour in eight parts of this, two parts of that, one part of that. Mix it together real good and we'll get it into our gun.
Got her out here looking good. All shined up. So that's it, guys. She turned out very good. This is the single stage paint from O'Reilly. Turned out great. Nice and glossy. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Please like and subscribe. There's a lot more where that came from.